Do you ever find yourself wondering, how come these tomatoes taste nothing like the tomatoes I ate in 1992? Or what about, how come this tomato is still so red and firm even though it came all the way from Mexico? Well, that's because some really, really smart scientists genetically engineered these tomatoes. Genetic engineering means you could take a specific gene from one species and insert it into a completely different species, creating a third, brand new species with the desired traits you want. Like these scientists in Taiwan inserted jellyfish genes into pigs to make them glow in the dark. Thanks a lot, scientists! Now I can have a glow-in-the-dark pig just like I always wanted! Foods have been modified so they can look ideal in shape and color. They've also been modified to make them more firm and so they can be shipped far distances without rotting along the way. They've also been made to be more resistant to pesticides, effectively removing all the qualities that made them actual food. There's fish genes in tomatoes and pesticides built into each cell of a potato. But a really wonderful thing about genetically modified foods is that the large corporations refuse to label their products as genetically modified, probably because people would think it was insane. Check this article out. Genetically modified tomatoes actually fight cancer. That's because they were pumped with three times the amount of vitamin A producing compounds, and that's thought to be crucial in preventing serious disease. Wow, thanks scientists. What are the health risks of genetically modified food? Well, nobody has any idea. There haven't been any long-term studies before they were put on the market, so we're pretty much the guinea pigs. And most of us don't even know we're eating it. Thanks again, scientists.